What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's JN. Welcome back to This Is The Police. We're moving into day 11, if I remember correctly. Thursday, 25th. Oh, and we have the trial. I think that's where we left off, right? Today's the trial. Okay, let me read the news headlines. As always. All City Hall employees awarded company cars for personal use. Freeburg to host semi-finals of Youth Hockey Week. Good on them. Small drug dealer invades Freeburg. Jack, why couldn't you get a new car, man? Everybody's getting these new cars for company use and they couldn't even give you one. Mr. Boyd. Why did you send your officers to the feminist protest? Um, the feminists could prove to be a threat. Frankly, even though they're women, they can still organize riots. Plus, some of those ladies are pretty hefty. Valid. In your opinion, did any of the participants in the protest pose actual danger to others? Definitely. Whenever there's over 50 people gathered in a single space, there's always a chance something will go off. I like Jack sinking. Mr. Boyd, you're married, are you not? It's none of your business. Don't try to bring my family into this. What are your personal feelings towards women? Good. I have an excellent attitude. How else can you treat... How else do you treat women? Mr. Boyd, did you give an order to suppress the protests by force? Blame City Hall. Mayor gave me a direct order in writing. I had no choice but to carry it out. Save my ass. I should have blamed the mafia, but quite frankly, they're a bit ter they're a bit more terrifying than dealing with the uh, in with my the mayor. new role as corrupt official. I had to give up some of my favorite habits. Like I like what? Turn off my phone when my head ached. Uh -huh. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. The old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week. I absorbed cigar smoke, mm. the vague smell of alcohol, the stench oh. of urine, all mixed with toxic levels Sounds of like a hoot. drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Wow. Tradition's got to be honored. Yes. And to stay Honor that tradition. To the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. Yes. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to 100. If That's a long fucking count. If you backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to 60. I was oh, you do not interrupt the ritual. You look even better than you do on TV. Thanks, There's nothing I more guess. impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private this place guy? in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Fair Take enough. A lot of balls to crash the party. Yeah. Who My the head fuck was are you? A drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit, straight out of Dick Tracy. <laughs> Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy. Fancy strut. voice. Hey, how you doing? That's how the newspapers described Vikas Varga. Vikas Varga. Freeburg's criminal underworld. Vikas Varga. He appeared out of nowhere. And with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. That is, that, that should be he his voice. Varga, I am here. Traded where Russia. Could not be traded, yeah, it's a, vodka is my drink. Could not be robbed. <laughs> it's just bad that I'm just month, playing off of old stereotypes. Had had an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius. Fair. And more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. Okay. But if Vargas well, he dresses was one for the, of the part old waste. crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this Great guy's imagery. arrogance, and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, right. he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Oh, that's not good. There's going to be like a not fucking the best time to cross war. Mr. Varga. No, you know my name. I'm flattered. Mm -hmm. not you very know surprised, my name. To be honest. <laughs> I might be a little short on manners, 
I could be short on giving a shit. City, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the this criminal is my town. needs manners, Mr. Varga. Oh, it's kind of the mob's this. town now that I'm a fucking mobster bitch. Cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you uh, what are you trying to say? Quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do I know bet that you the know, darling. Of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. Okay. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. Uh, fuck that. I ain't giving you my number. Okay, or you could just this snatch my wrist. This moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. Yeah, that's so about how it goes. Wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. <laughs> you don't well, say that I'm to a the chief of police. Right now. It's the only way to live in this place. <laughs> you don't say that to the chief I of like police. I'm going to be stoned out of my mind. I'm here to stay. Oh. Have we if just met the, the villain? Written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Oh, great. That sounds very promising. Day 12, July 26. Here we go. Mayor Rogers hates women. Mayor Rogers, I will bring order to the police station. City Hall responsible for violence. Oh, no, that's not good. Why did they release that? I thought that would be like a private matter, but I'm going to be in shit now. <sighs> Hello? Am I meant to click on anything? No. Okay. My morning ritual was plagued by the smell of Vicus Varga's fruity cologne. Ew. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vicus was right there in my living room. <laughs> Probably when I finally was. realized the smell was coming from a big Just basket there. of orange. Hey, how you doing? Didn't put me any more at ease. <laughs> I'd open my he's door to around, he's just sitting in like, he's just walking behind you like, doing, <laughs> even a dead fairy or two, but fruit, never. Uh, hi? You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that Excuse brought the basket me? of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. What the fuck are you doing out in front of my house? He's chilling. Passing the doobie on the left-hand side. So who are you? Exactly. Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? Yes. To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Oh, that's where? not good. The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Fine. Just the ranch. Oh, this is a mobster place the for sure. It seems surreal, and I took in the magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? True. As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows an where. An hour? I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably lying... Am I gonna, like, get slaughtered or something out here and they're gonna bury my body? I was buried in a rotten orange peel. <laughs> but no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. It was the all real. It was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It nice all place. It all familiar. The San family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines ah, for decades. So it is the mobsters I'm to meant to be working on. Huh? I think I've, I think I've done it. right by them, so there's no reason for them to be assholes to me. I could have ratted them out, like yesterday. Didn't. I've, no, I've done exactly what they wanted, except for once. I think they should be fine with me. But this doesn't look fine. That doesn't look good at all. Hi, how you doing? My name is Jack. 
I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good Hurry, company. Hurry, if I get company good company, company good shot. Today, yes. Today is a special day. Why is that? So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? No, Every I week. don't. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. <laughs> Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Oh, uh, is this because yes. that guy it's showed up last night? And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby. Do you know anything about my hobbies? Murdering, well, thieving. Skins I stepped on walking over here. It's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. It took okay. ever so long. But now I'm older. I've developed a new talent. For bullets and head. What is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you... you okay. Serve. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. To sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will That's tell what you happens when you're a hunter? Hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. <laughs> to get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. Right. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly are the master. I am the master. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Needless to say, uh, I'm I don't hear you know, what? breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the right, so loudly why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush, surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the uh -oh. ready. Uh, forgive it. Am I screwed? Imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet. I can Oh, you adorable. I don't know what was said between you and Kendrick. But it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. <laughs> I don't what want to be a mob partner. And war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, okay. I'd begun to think my war had <laughs> passed me over. But my time is That's a sex joke. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war. Oh. And I'm obliged to answer. So, we're talking about Varga. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's well, a when a mommy and a daddy breed, love each other very <laughs> But when he arrived here, I invited him Not in. Not going to go into all that. Told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. Oh, Mr. Can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a mm. message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sands. Yeah, exactly. What the you fuck? Know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now, cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. Yeah. I understand you, Jack. Do you? And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just Good. think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. Okay, I'll call you. Just give me... a. 50 years, and I'll give you a buzz. Can I go to work now? Everyone just gonna leave me? Just leave me sitting alone in the house, like... Wow, this is fucked. <laughs> like I said, it's a whole new life, and I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Mm. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under, concerns is all I got. Yep. Oh, no. No, I'm helping Sand. 
I'm helping Sen. I'm sticking with the person that I made the deal with originally. I'm not going to screw him over because I feel like Sand has enough people to like really do some damage. I feel like Vargas is just kind of on his damage own a little bit. He, looks, he kind of sees like a voice cannon in a way. That's how he comes across to me, by the way. My neighbor died and his wife asked me to help with the funeral arrangements. Can I have the day off? Yeah, sure. Nobody else? Good. All right, we're only down one person. That's fine. Let's get some booger flavors going. That's like the only one I kind of choose, isn't it? Oh well. I'm not sure how- I'm still not sure with the copyrights for these songs, so that's why I'm keeping the, the music low. City Hall, please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. You lose one job slot. Oh. Roy, you gotta go. Roy, I'm sorry. You gotta go. Oh, I should have done... God damn it. Here's your salary. Oh, you missed the suspect. Oh, damn it. I tried last time with that. Tomorrow's gonna be the day. Don't let anything happen to him until then. Oh, fuck. Who was that? Shit. Job slot officer. City Hall cannot meet your, meet your request at this time. Fuck you. Okay, everything's... Uh, everything's kind of going to shit, but it's not too bad at the moment. There we go. Massive fight. We received a call from a club manager who says that there's a brawl that broke out in the main hall involving over 20 men. Security are keeping them back because some of the are carrying knives. Several wounded are already lying on the dance floor, but no one knows why the mayhem broke out. Kochi... Yancey and Austin and Price can go. And a paddy wagon. Can I get a paddy wagon going? Yeah. Well, let's pull out Yancey and just have the paddy wagon then. Go. Good. Because I don't want to use up SWAT right away just in case there's like an armed robbery or something. Because I feel like SWAT is best used for, like, arm robberies and shit like that. I'm worried about this, though. Kochi, Austin, and Price. Because I feel like these two are going to weigh Kochi down a little bit. Which I'm a little bit scared of. Because it's like... Situation is more serious than before. Requesting reinforcements. Yancey and Asano can go. This is what I was afraid of. Two teens, walking their dog, got into an argument, and eventually one of them unleashed a dog to the other. The police were called to the girls riding a bike nearby. Yeah, you should be able to handle that yourself. And if you can't, then you're fucked. Alright, hopefully this one gets resolved soon, because I've only got McNally here. <sighs> hopefully this gets solved. Otherwise, I'm a bit screwed. Here we go. Massive fight. Every fight, everything's fine. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Good job, everybody. Now, try to get back here before. A boy is struggling on the ground, barely holding off an angry dog that is trying to grab him in the throat. Fire shots into the air. Pulled the dog's collar. Hit the dog with a taser. Fire shots into the air. Dog lets the boy escape and its owner starts to flee. Ordered the teenager to halt. Offender escaped. That's okay. At least um, the guy that was getting hurt um, is fine. A homicide at the church. Reported the sounds of gunshots inside the church. A bearded man in a hat entered the confessional. And a minute later, I heard a few gunshots. Then the man calmly left the booth, took off a hat, and and crossed himself and sat down. I think he's praying. Okay. Religious people are weird. Let's be honest. Alright, I'm just waiting for Kochi to get back. Which should be back, actually. Relatively right on time for this case, which is good. 
All right, now let's go. Let's go, Kochi. Let's go, Asano. Let's go, McNally. Oh, McNally, do you want to? No. Yeah, we'll go McNally and we'll go Price. I think that's good. I think that is good. Attempted murder at St. John's Hospital. Linda Howard. Her words slurred, said that the dentist paralyzed her face during her last visit. The monster stuck me with some kind of poison. Arrest him. Uh, it's got three. So Yancey and... Tsu... Tsu... Tsu Bucky? I don't know how to say that. Well, now I've only got Austin left, which makes me a little bit scared. Hey, it's been a steady day. Steady day. I like it. Alright, homicide report. Offender court officers unharmed and civilians unharmed. That's what we like to see, everybody. Oh, loot found. Non-automatic weapon. Officers found uh, non-automatic weapon. Ask the Mafia to sell them. No, bring them to the police station. I'm not giving them to the Mafia. I don't want people to get shot. That just creates more crime for me. Alright, the attempted murder. Girl was injected with normal painkillers, false alarm. Yeah, I kind of gathered it was going to be... A part of me knew that that was going to be a false alarm, and still I was like, eh, don't know. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Christopher Sands, an ice cream vendor known as suspicious black bag, uh, which has been lying unsupervised on the bench for the last couple of hours. Let's send SWAT in and everybody else. Kochi, Austin, Asano, get in there. If this is the mob, I'm going to screw this one plan. Which, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine with. I'm fine with screwing this one plan. Alright, let's see what we're... See what we're dealing with here, gang. Officers arrive at the scene and observed that there's something moving inside the bag. So, uh, stay back until the bomb squad arrives. Offender court, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Good. That's what we want to see. And that's what we want to hear. Want to hear that everybody's doing fine. Everybody's good. Why can I not end today? There's still no, like, end day thing here. Unless I'm just stupid and can't see it. There we go. I was like, I haven't seen anything. <laughs> Checkpoint. Day 13, July 27th. Alright, there was a lot of story in that, so I'm going to leave it here. Short video today, because, uh, I don't know. I feel like we got a lot of story in that. I feel like everything's about to come together. So we'll kick off next episode with the two to three days that we usually do. Um, I feel like there was just a lot of story in this, and I need to process it a little bit more. Because uh, we had the court case, we had um, the encounter at the nightclub, and then we had uh, Christopher San... Um, Tay basically kidnapping us, but whatever. And then we had a day in there as well. So that that's a lot of stuff to happen within the space of 20 minutes. So my head's kind of going... <whistles> but we will pick this up next time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are still enjoying This Is The Police. From what I can tell in the comments, you guys are still enjoying it. And I'm glad, because I'm really loving this series. It's like the only resource management game I'm fucking good at. But... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Proper J and merch store down below. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Proper J and peace out. We have eternity together And as lovers we cannot help but drown in all the ecstasy it's in the way we fight, it's in that sweet surrender I'm drinking in your poison